What's up, magical people? Manny the Manch here, back with another Animal Crossing tutorial. And today, we're gonna be talking about turnips. Turn it up. So as many of you might already know, the quote unquote stock market is one of the more risky but lucrative ways of securing that bag in Animal Crossing New Horizons. But there's a lot of guesswork and gambling that's required to always make a profit on turnips. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a special method that lets you know when to sell your turnips for maximum profit. That's right, today's video is gonna be all about how to cheat the stock market in Animal Crossing New Horizons, Wolf of Wall Street style, baby. Now, before we get into it, if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to become a magical person yourself and to see more Animal Crossing content to come. Now, recently I came across this handy Google spreadsheet that I'll be throwing up screenshots of periodically during the video. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. It's going to be a crucial component of what we're going to try to pull off today, so it's important that you guys have it. It might look a little complicated, but I'll show you guys step by step how to use it to your advantage. So, just a brief explanation of how turnip buying and selling works for those who don't already know. Basically, every Sunday morning, a villager named Daisy May will come to your island and sell you turnips at a seemingly random price. And throughout the week, the price you can sell it for at your store will fluctuate. The goal is to sell your turnips at the right price for maximum profits, just like the real life stock market. And now at first, this pattern might seem random, but what if I told you that it isn't? Oh, that's right. This method and this spreadsheet will give you the tools to predict the patterns of the turnip prices and sell when the price is right for you. You see, the turnip prices fluctuate in cycles, and if you can tell what cycle you're in, you can pretty much predict the range of prices throughout the week and what day you should sell. So let's go ahead and take a look at this spreadsheet. If you look in the top left-hand corner, there'll be these yellow boxes, and that's where you're gonna add the prices on each day, AM and PM. And once you do that, the algorithm will generate some possibilities for you based on the values that you put in. So this means the natural first step is going to be to buy your turnips. Make sure you note the price that Daisy May will sell it to you for and add it to the very top left yellow box in the spreadsheet under Sunday. Now, of course, since Daisy May only shows up Sunday mornings, you don't have to worry about filling in the PM price. And for this run, I only purchased about 50 because I wanted to test it and make sure that the spreadsheet worked. Also, another thing to keep in mind is that every island is on its own cycle. So you have to buy the turnips on your own island and not a friend's island. So from here, I added the price in the Sunday column, which for me was 102. And then the spreadsheet generated a few different patterns that showed me the range of selling prices for the cycle that I was in. There are about three different patterns that you'll likely be in at any given point in time. And that's either random, where the prices fluctuate randomly, small spike, where the prices are slightly higher, and large spike, where the prices will peak and eventually decline. And then from here, the rest is pretty simple. You're gonna wanna check the turnip prices at your store and add the AM and PM pricing to the spreadsheet every day throughout the week. This gives the algorithm more numbers to crunch, improving the accuracy of the prices shown. Now, take note that the prices that you're given won't be exact, but rather be a range. So for me, when it said 143 and 204, this meant that I was in a small spike cycle and that my prices were gonna be anywhere from 143 to 204. So as I was filling it out, I missed the box because I was busy Monday evening, but I managed to get the AM price on Monday and both prices on Tuesday. And this was apparently enough of a sample to show me that the best time to sell would be on Wednesday night where the price would peak at 204 and be at the lowest at 143. And just like that, lo and behold, I was able to sell turnips for about 176 bells at night on Wednesday which effectively meant a profit of 74 bells per turnip. Not bad for my first run, but now of course, I need to mention that there is still some luck involved. This method won't always guarantee a profit because sometimes you'll be at the low end of a high spike where the price is decreasing, in which case you won't really gain anything that week. So that's just something to keep in mind, kind of play it by ear, make sure you're paying attention to the numbers on the spreadsheet and how they move. But at least with this, you have the tools to cheat the stock market and make it work in your favor. And just like that, it looks like you've made it to the end of the video. Uh, so if you liked it, be sure to hit that like button. And remember to hit subscribe and hit that bell to become a magical person yourself and see more Animal Crossing videos like this. But with all that said, guys, I wish you luck in your stock market endeavors. Thanks for watching.